All right, it's time for my final Viking seven round mock draft of the season. No! All right, welcome back to One Bar and Love. We can show them One Bar final, final seven round mock draft of the season. Bittersweet. Always sad, but also damn exciting because that means the draft is only hours away. Hit that sub button, hit that like button. Also, be sure to join us for our tailgate party Thursday before the draft from 4 to 4.30 to 6.30. Chance to win a lot of swag, including this wonderful coffee cup, Vikings jersey, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, hoodies the dicks are making. It's going to be wonderful. But let's do this. Let's get into it. Let's see if I can make this Vikings team way better. Give me a grade in the comments. How would you grade this? I'm going to say, you know, I don't think I'm going to do any trades. We'll see. But here we go. Well, I already see Joey Porter's gone. I am absolutely not trading with the Packers. I don't care what they're giving me. Second round or next year. Uninterested. Uninterested. Let's see what we got shaken. Vikings have already met with Brian Branch. So clearly some interest there. I am using the, the Pro Football Network simulator. Um, Brian Brissy, Kincaid, Meyer, Cansey, Cam Smith, Anton Harrison, Will McDonald, who they've also met with. So I'm going to, I'm not going to go my norm that I usually do. I don't know why. Um, but I think the Vikings, I think even if Kalijah Cansey is there as much as we want him, as much as we love him, I just don't know if he really fits that three, four, that the Vikings are going to run. Don't get me wrong. I love him, but the Vikings love them some Brian Branch as well. Uh, they can do a lot of things with them, and I'm taking them. I'm doing it. Brian Branch coming on in. I have a weird feeling that people are not going to like that pick. I mean, I, if one of the corners, if Joey Porter would have been there, he would have been the pick. He was gone. He was gone. Washington, no thank you. Green Bay, leave me alone, Packers. I'm not even answering that phone call. All right, let's look at uh, – so we, we got to look at defensive line quick. Darius Rush. Damn. Love Darius Rush. Uh, Whipler is there. Wow. Um, Deion Henley. You know we love Deion Henley. Ivan Pace, too early for him. Boutte, just heard a little rumor about him. Uh, everybody's heard. I think it was the last one here. Hey, To'o. To uh, definitely a Deion Henley guy over To'o. To'o, higher ceiling. But Luke, wow, I hate that. I hate the... Noah Sewell, just... just Good linebacker, thumper, but I'm going to go Deion Henley. I'm staying on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, pairing him up with Brian Asamoa would be terrifying for opposing offenses. This dude's ceiling is just sky high, sky high. Former wide receiver, extremely athletic, very, very fast. Uh, personality that players are just going to absolutely love. Go watch some of his post games. Go watch some of his interviews. The dude is a riot. Deion Henley coming home. Brian Branch and Deion Henley. Um, we could call the draft right now, and I would be happy. Doesn't mean you would be happy. Like I said, give me your grades. But damn, this would be this would be nice. We got to look at wide receiver. Okay, Mingo. Mingo has no right being on the board right now. Uh, big receiver, a guy that is getting some love at even at the end of round one. I'm not buying that. I am not buying that one damn bit. But this late into the into the draft to pick one one nineteen, I am absolutely going to take him and not think twice so we get that big receiver pairing him up with justin jefferson kj osborne love it dalvin cook so we're trying to get rid of dalvin cook and we're basically getting a, a six round pick for him i'm not going to do this I'm not saying i wouldn't want them to do it but uh i i, I well you know what i am going to do it because if we just flat out cut him we might as well get something for Dalvin. Sorry, Dalvin. I love you. I hate that I'm sending you to the Texans. But he's gone. I'm not doing that. All right. Dalvin Cook is gone. Drink a real dark coffee for that one. Let's go back and see what we've uh, what 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 the Vikings have scored so far. Uh Brian Branch, Deion Henley, Jonathan Mingo. We have three picks left. Uh, I'm gonna start looking at quarterback, defensive line. It's to the point now where you know I I I Aside, well, holy shit. Ajomo is wonderful. Big man from Texas. And Colby Wooden. So there are some, some very good players um, 
to take. I mean, Ajamo, 6'2", 289. Uh, I think I got to do, I think I got to do it. I think he comes in right away, competes for some playing time as a rookie. Defense, 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 except for Jonathan Mingle sliding. I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, let's just look at this one more time. 211, so we got two more picks left. Defensive line, wide receiver, linebacker, safety. Let's just peek at the quarterbacks just for the hell of it. Max Dugan, Lee Cunningham, not a big Dugan guy. Not at all. Guard Bradford Vikings definitely have been looking at him. Uh, and honestly, he shouldn't be on the board at this point. Wide receiver, Mo, Dwayne McBride, the Vikings have looked at. Evan Hall, the Vikings have looked at. Um, I'm just going to look at cornerback one more time, see if we can double dip here. Cam Brown, Luter, Boykin. Other than that, quick edge rushers. Herbig. I'm surprised he's still there. Caleb Murphy, he's going to be my first call as an undrafted free agent. Um, I'm going with the big man. I'm going Nick Herbig. Um, edge rusher, Daniil Hunter, Zedarius Smith. We have no idea what the future holds. Hell, I just traded Dalvin Cook to the Texans for pretty much a six-round pick. So anything's possible. Um, but we got the edge rusher. Let's go to Max Dugan is still there. This is our last pick. I'm going to look at guard quick. I'm going to be kicking myself for not taking Bradford. Um, center, pretty pick clean. Let's just go to best available. Noah Ruggles, the kicker. Mafi, Cam Jones, Jordan Howden. Carl Brooks. You can't pass on Carl Brooks with your last pick. Uh, what are they going to do with him? Who knows? He's proven he can get his ass to the quarterback. Uh, he's productive. And he makes things happen. I, I I don't know where they're going to play him in the NFL, but that's why Brian Flores gets paid the big bucks because he can figure it out. A late round flyer on a guy like that is absolutely, absolutely worth it. So let's take a look. We got Brian Branch, a guy that they're going to play around with in the secondary. Does he play safety? Does he play nickel? Where do they put him? Um, doesn't matter where they do put him. He's going to be damn good. Deion Henley, I think Jordan Hicks should be crapping his pants right now because Deion Henley is a guy who could come in and just cost him his job immediately. Jonathan Mingo is going to come in and push for that third wide receiver, possibly possibly even that number two as a rookie. Ajamo adds some much-needed uh, depth along the defensive line. Nick Herbig, the edge rusher from Wisconsin, is getting a lot of run lately. And Carl Brooks, um, just straight up, just going for the ceiling there. Uh, boomer bust type of guy, but this late in the draft, absolutely worth the flyer pick. My My... I, I didn't get defensive line as early as I wanted to, but when I look at the guys I took, the value was just too high to reach. Um, you could say Cansey in round one. You could have said Brissy in round one, but I went with Brian Branch. Um, other than that, aside from getting a quarterback, uh, I could have took a Max Dugan, but you know what? I'm going to roll with Zach Mullins for another year. Maybe we get maybe Dugan's still available. We get him as a free agent. So this is the final one-bar mock draft. Let me know. The grade you give this, what you would have dif done differently, and the fact that I should definitely not be an NFL GM. Remember, join us for the live tailgate party. We'll be live Wednesday still, and we're going to be putting a ton of content out in the next few days. Draft, draft, draft. Happy draft week. Let's go.